Hello, you guys. Welcome to the YouTube channel. Back again, it's your girl Rayshawn Phillips here, and we're getting ready to talk to one of my alumni. Listen, when I told you this is one of my favorite students that she's not even a student. She's a friend, really. We we came like she when I because when I say student, it always makes me question like the teacher student relationship. But I could tell you this young lady has taught me a lot more, okay, than I have taught her. When it comes to the systems, she got it. When I D-O-W-N pack, that's called down pack, okay? <laughs> and I can tell I'm old school. But anyway, I wanted to bring her on because Tiffany participated in the Scout Care Certification course. And I want to hear her feedback. I want to know what, if, if, if anything, if she's using it in her salon today, how it benefits her. And that means I'm going to bring that right over to her and begin asking her questions. Thank y'all so much for joining us and listening to this conversation. Share the video, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more interviews to come. All right. With that being said, hey, Tiffany, how you doing? Hey, Rachel, what's going on? Yes, girl. So tell me what, you know, can you share a bit about just your background in cosmetology and, you know, what brought you to wanting to even do scalp care at all? You probably did it already, but let's talk about that. <laughs> okay. So, hey, y'all. Hey, I'm your girl, Tiffany Nicole, certified hair loss specialist. What I do is help women that are experiencing hair loss recreate the hair that they love. And I do it by a couple of ways, but taking Rayshawn's course actually helped me expand on that right because mostly I do um non-surgical hair replacement mm -hmm. but I also realized that there's a space for before you need that and I wanted to be a part of that process also so that's why I took the scalp certification course because we can slow that process down drastically and in some cases even stop it but you know that's 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 right. why I came <laughs> yes girl so did you have any like hopes or expectations when you were ready? Like when it, when I say, hey, Tiffany, I want you to participate in this course. Were there any expectations that you had prior to that? After I said, um, I, I can't even say yes or no, really. I was just excited to see what I would pick up that I, maybe mm. I didn't already know. Because being in the, year, in the industry for 30 years, you think you know it all. <laughs> you don't all there's always more learning to do so I was just mm -hmm. open to the process open to the information and it's really working out for me that that makes sense and I'm so excited that it's working <laughs> out yeah because you know what it, it was something when I first started I wasn't really for sure if scalp care was something that could be used in every salon now I, I'm screaming from the mountains every stylist need to be adding scalp care to their salon menus because it is a precursor to excellent service period it's just something and there's some underlying things that we understand now that makes it so much that much sweeter for the client and I yeah. love that so let's talk about let's move into the actual coursework there okay. were some changes and, you know, from one platform to the other. So I want to mm -hmm. talk about the newer platform. Let me know, like, like me. <laughs> <laughs> what was that like for you? What was the experience for you? So being that, like you said, I am very into systems. This was, I was looking at it from um, both perspectives, because like, like you said, I was not just a student. I'm also your friend. I'm also a colleague and mm -hmm. we share ideas. So I had the privilege of actually being able to see it from both views, from if I were using it for one of my courses and the delivery of the information that I was getting. And it is seamless, right? It is Ooh. very seamless. It's easy to use. Uh, it looks good, right? <laughs> <laughs> that matters. That so matters. In, especially in our industry, because it's all about for the customer, right? It's mm -hmm. all about making them look better. They want to look a certain way whether mm -hmm. their scalp is healed, healing, or in a mess, they still want to leave in a certain way. So yes. that's just a part of it. So that was good. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I, I really, um, the way that you segmented everything out and the fact that also by me being, looking at it from two different sides, I wanted to just go through everything and come back and then take it. Yeah. And I couldn't. Like, <laughs> you have to follow the steps. And that's important for us mm -hmm. as beauty professionals because, you know, you know Girl, we're thinking it, it, of so many different things. We chase the squirrels, you know, throughout the day. So we don't always get to go back. So the way that it's set up, 
you're able to focus on this segment. You're able to focus mm -hmm. on just the microscope information. Mm -hmm. You're able to focus on just the essential oil section. Right. And you can go back, you know, at some other time, but you're not getting a glimpse of everything and then going back and being confused because you lay it out in the way that it needs to be. Oh, that's dope. That's dope. That's great <laughs> feedback. It really, really is because that was the one of the reasons why we made that change because girl, I, I don't like to be talking about myself on camera, but what I tell you, the first one had so many words. It was so wordy. And I was like, I don't know if I would do this. Mm. <laughs> it was so much. <laughs> but so I need mm. you, you know what? It, just like a car. If it's in park, you can't change the direction because you're not going anywhere. So you if you're right. already moving, you can turn the wheel. You can uh -huh. back up. You can slide over to the left if you if you're parked you, you can't, can't do nothing, nothing. But sit there and look in the rear view mirror and what's back there because you haven't traveled anywhere right so we have to sometimes just do it with yes. the intent, with good intention uh -huh. right and know that we have the information and it just might need some tweaking long as you have the information the tweaking is We'll get to that. Absolutely. Absolutely. That that's a great point for the those that are those of you that are listening. The because if you know, if I would have waited till I got it all the way right, it may not have ever came out. I promise you that. It, because it, the <laughs> knowledge, the knowledge was there, the structure was mm -hmm. there, but it mm -hmm. was a technical thing. And sometimes tech can be such a barrier to, uh, you know, yes. not Tiffany. Tiffany got some systems, y'all. When I tell you, she know how to put it together. <laughs> But for me, I really was struggling with tech. And so this was a great transition. And I'm glad that you were able to see that transition and able mm -hmm. to observe that and reap the benefits of it. And I, that is so yes. powerful. So let's talk about, you talk, You mentioned the microscope. How is that going? Are you using the microscope? So I am. And I'm actually mm -hmm. also going to, uh, you know, okay, that's saying too much. So yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we can't give the tea yet. We can't give the tea yet. But that that's to, to, to come. Yeah, yes, I am. Uh -huh. <laughs> but um, yes, and I have um, just kind of offered it to a handful of uh, my clients just so that I can get used to it, right? Uh -huh. You want to come out the gate charging for something and you're not, you haven't done it. Right, and you haven't so, acclimated yourself, right? Yeah, so that's what I'm doing now. I'm gathering my data, beauty mm -hmm. pros, get your data, mm -hmm. right? Um, and my testimonials and things like that, but I love it. It was a little confusing at first. I had to, I have like three different devices. I had to decide what I want to put it on because how I want the client to be able to see it. But right, when right. I first, you know, hooked it up and everything, I hooked it up to my phone. I'm like, yeah, this is cute, but, you know, nah. And so it's now I have it like on because, my tablet so that it's oh, big. Now it's big. And uh -huh. I'm actually going to mount it, you know, and spark the curiosity. Hey, what's that for the people that, you know, they, they don't know. They don't, right. And that's, that is, girl, they don't know. This is like a John B song. They don't know. You know what I mean? They don't know what they're looking at under the scalp. And it's so <laughs> annoying to me. I'm like, okay, yeah. so... The fact that you, you said something, you said taking that time, getting your data, even though you took the course, you are practicing before you go out yes. there and begin trying. And that is what is so powerful, you guys. I I'm, yes. I love that. But this is, I'm telling you, when, when I talk about my students, this is why, because they love scalp care. Like I love scalp mm -hmm. care. They don't, they're not going out here willy nilly, just doing right. anything. And so I'm about to offer this and just tell, I don't know what mm -hmm. I'm looking at. No, I need to understand at least the basics of what I'm looking at. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to be no dermatologist or no trichologist. I just want to understand what I'm looking at so that I can give my clients a better direction on their journey. Mm -hmm. And perfect. You, that is amazing. I love that you're doing that. So Let's talk about the relationship. You mentioned some of your clients that you've given the microscope analysis. How does that relationship change now that they've gotten that? Like, because from my experiences, my clients have fought, they're like, oh my God, this is, I've never gotten this before. This is something that's new for me. So tell me your experiences. So it definitely increases the level of trust. I mm -hmm. have pulled three and, and don't get caught up in numbers, you guys. Okay. It's, right. it, it starts small. Mm -hmm. But every win is a win and to be celebrated. So I have pulled three of my customers off of beauty store products mm, just yes. with this conversation. 
Just with this yes, conversation. Because you know they be using the stuff that they ain't supposed to be using. Girl, ooh. ooh we and, might... and, and I have one to tell. I'm, I'm going to tell this quick story. I yes, have one girl, to tell hear. me that she's been with me for like seven years. Mm -hmm. And she recently had a baby about two years ago. That is actually a part of the problem uh, uh -huh. her hair. Right. But she began, you know, experimenting on her own. And she was over here on YouTube. Okay. YouTube. YouTube has, University. She's on the good side of YouTube. I just want to put that out there. Yes. It's, so she was on YouTube on the other side. Uh-huh. <laughs> gathering all this information and just doing what she saw people do. Uh, with the guessers. They guessing. And I sold sold her two products that day, <laughs> just off of the conversation because of the additional knowledge that I have. I've always right. talked to my clients about the health of their hair, but when I can say, "Look at your scalp under here," and when I use these things, and now look at your scalp. This right. is what we need to be doing. These are the products that you need to be using, you know, in between your appointments and things like that. It's working. Yes, <laughs> she said like she was convinced. I just went down a rabbit hole, and this one said do this, so I did that, and then I went about that. Throw all that shit away. Throw it away. Throw it away. Don't, girl, tell her you don't want to throw it away. Give it away. I, you know, don't use it anymore. <laughs> Oh my good right because you could now see what it's doing okay you can now see what it's doing and and I think that's such a powerful point because clients don't even realize what they they don't realize what they're doing you know when they start coming to us when the product that made their scalp flare up and is burning and and hot <laughs> it's itching and burning I don't know what y'all did flakes. I never had flakes before and we done told you, we done told, we told you all this time. We done told you all this time. But like you said, when we are able to show them at a microscopic level, yes. the difference a professional product makes, it's almost hands down. They're like, I want all of what you got. Yes. I want what you got because you got, you got the tea. And that's the way it's supposed to be for real. Mm -hmm. We should be looked at as the experts. We should be the one that people come to for their product selection, for the initial, we really see our clients scalps more than they husbands do. So I'm just saying, yeah. girl, and, and I'm just that's saying. that's partially our fault. We're not conveying the messages. What happened to consultations? Oh, uh, where did what they happened go, to them? Right? Where, where did they, them? that's real. <laughs> no, no, that that's for real. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know that we're talking about the scalp care certification course, but you know, a part of that was the conversation. That's a part of it. You know what I mean? Like for real, we need to consult. Whether you're doing scalp care or not, you need to be asking your clients about their scalp health. Otherwise, mm -hmm. you're doing them a disservice. I just posted the other thing. If you are not doing scalp care, you are a part of the problem. A cosmetologist, I put it, I put it. And I, I feel like, you know, you gave me this book. <laughs> I said what I said. Right, I said what I said. Because my friend gave me this book and I've been reading this book, Made to Stick, okay? And they, <laughs> yes, yes, I've been I've been diving into that book. I think I got maybe like two hours left to listen to it. And it's good. It's very, very good. It talks so much about what makes things sticky and why some ideas are great ideas, but never come to fruition. So it really is changing how I communicate about the scalp care surgery. It makes me stand up, mm -hmm. sit my shoulders back and say, <laughs> scalp care is everything. And I it mean is. that. I mean that, but it's for the, the longest foundation. time, I was just whispering it. I was just saying, hey, you should, you should, you should take scalp care. And now I'm saying it with a big, firm, loud, loud voice. Raina Scalp Care mm -hmm. University is everything. And scalp care is everything to your business and to your client's journey. And I love mm -hmm. the fact that I'm able to have that conversation now because it wasn't like that before. It wasn't. Yep. So let's move. We're going to move into some final thoughts here. This is a great conversation. You are a wealth of knowledge always in all directions. And I just appreciate so much that you would take your time in your busy day. Because when I tell you this woman is busy, okay, She's doing it. She's been doing this wig. Oh, Lord, have mercy. She does, like she told you, she does the reconstruction and construction for people who don't have the ability to grow their hair back. So she really mm -hmm. creates units, units that are specific. That not these units that look like the every wig that you see on everybody. Like the sewing no. machine kind. No, I do those no. Too. Yeah, However, but she makes, right. When I specific. say a custom piece from the, custom, from custom. the cap to the last strand of hair. Right. Custom. How about to the texture? To to the texture. There to you the go. To the color. Yes. The density. That, yes. Yeah. All of that. All of my clients don't look the same. Even if they, 
if I give them all this haircut, they're not going to look the same. Right. Right. And that's what I love about how specific your business is. That's why I knew that scalp care was going to be like another addition to what you do, because your attention to detail is absolutely amazing. Thank and you. that's no, I am so <laughs> serious when it comes when you I seen you when you pushed you posted a one video that it went pretty viral where you were showing how you do. I said, now that right there. Mm -hmm. she was the process of ventilating. Do, yeah. What was that? The what, single strand in mm -hmm. certain strand by strand, strand by strand installation. OK. You don't get that everywhere. You don't get that custom. When I tell y'all, y'all need to check out my girl, Tiffany. She's in <laughs> Cleveland, Ohio. So she is somewhere local to y'all who are, everybody who's watching, if you're in Ohio, mm -hmm. she's in Cleveland, Ohio. And your girl just opened a new space and it's absolutely beautiful. Like, I am so proud of Tiffany. And, and you know what? <laughs> Thank you. When I tell you things come, things fall into your lap. Sometimes things that, that that don't look good they come and you'd be like this was a blessing in disguise and i'm like for real because tiffany mm -hmm. wasn't she wasn't gonna move her salon she moved that salon and bam look at it <laughs> more room more every, just it's beautiful and she's doing a great job with putting it together i'm so proud of when you. I, I say I do it that. scared do it uncertain sometimes you have to do mm -hmm. it without a plan but i need you to hurry up and make one Afterwards. Right, <laughs> but make it happen. To, it's like the car has to be moving to make a yes. change, to make a you, turn. And I love that you use that analogy twice, and I'm like thinking, of, yes, the car can't do nothing if it's still in park. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> so, <laughs> my, one of my final questions is: It's good that we have like two or three left, and I want to say, what would you say to someone who is considering participating in the scalp care certification course? So. Oh say first and foremost do it but this is why there is so much noise mm -hmm. around the hair industry the beauty industry as as a whole but specifically the hair industry we have all seen the viral videos about not shampooing hair the customers are outraged the stylists are explaining why so that's not a conversation that you even have to have when you have this. You're having a totally different conversation. Mm. And the people that are looking for you are going to find you because you're not in the same noise with everybody else. Mm. You have something else to talk about because you actually learn something new. And you just have to tell them how it works for them. Right. That is Get out works. of the noise. This if you're looking for something to set you apart, I mean, you can always look at somebody else's video and then say what they say, right? Just to get mm -hmm. the clients in. But what do you do with them when they get there? How do you keep If them? you don't have the knowledge. Right. So take the course. <laughs> get the knowledge, right? Get, get it. Then practice it. Mm -hmm. Practice. I, I'm going to stop talking before I give you guys a whole content strategy. Take the course. <laughs> I love it. No, I but it. It, it really did. Even with the my existing clientele, it they are asking me more questions because they see the microscope. They see um, my scalp exfoliator. They see mm -hmm. different products. You right. know, I have a, a client who I would purposely not tell her, you know, that I have something new that I'm doing and I just do it. As soon as I open the product. That's that? something new. <laughs> <laughs> what's that what does it do why are you using that mm. I say okay I'm going to tell you and then I'm going to need you to close your eyes and lay back and relax and that's exactly how it happens snoring all of that <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right girl she said snoring all of that so my last one uh, this is the second to last question so do you have any advice for future I mean, students. I outside of telling you the things that you need to look for in a beauty school, right? Mm -hmm. You're you're already in there. So let's get past that. Or you have already graduated. So let's right. let's let's get to that next step. The next step is what are you going to do with what they taught you and is it enough? Mm. Look at the industry. We might as well just and, say it's not enough. I'm just saying. What, <laughs> okay. <laughs> but but right, we we know. As mm -hmm. mothers, mm -hmm. that they got to learn for themselves. That's the truth. We can say it all day. 
We so can spring from the mountains. Let, let them think they doing it on their own. You, know? Just, you yeah. need to find out if it's working or not, if it's enough or not, right? right. Based on what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Now, if, if you're the, if you are not interested in that, you don't see the value in it, then we're, this conversation isn't for you. But That's for right. those of you that are concerned about how your clients look and feel because it's a feeling mm -hmm. when their hair is thriving, they feel good. Not just when it mm -hmm. looks good, because guess right. what? That hairstyle is coming out. And then when, you know, a week or two weeks later in between appointments, they're looking and the hair is mm -hmm. a tweety bird. Yes. Because the scalp isn't healthy, so the hair isn't healthy. And it's continuing to break. Figure out how to set your clients up for the best hairstyle from the beginning, out the gate. Mm -hmm. I, I know you paid for college school. I know you, did. you probably mm -hmm. didn't. But I know, you know, it was an investment of time, money, and all of that, right? Right. But there's always more. Even if you went to the best schools, even if you went to one of these, the popping school in the area, would it, even if you went to one of these major brand name schools, franchise mm -hmm. schools, there's mm -hmm. still more. Because the fact is, most of them teach to the test. They teach you to pass state board. Yes, they do. The, the knowledge that you get to use and utilize behind the chair is secondary. Because they have to meet their numbers. So you need to worry about your numbers. <laughs> and That's right. right now with the state of the industry, this is what's going to help you build your numbers. Scalp care, the health of the client's hair. And as you get a little more experience, you can sprinkle in some wellness and some other things. Mm -hmm. But the foundation is mm -hmm. scalp care. The hair has to be clean. The scalp has to be clean or it's not going to grow. It's not going to thrive. It's going to fall off. Listen. Y'all also need something else. I know this is about me, but y'all need Tiffany. <laughs> she has she has programs that are structured for students that just came out of cosmetology school who need this insight. There is there the, what she just said was in a nutshell a foundational support. This is the thing when you do come out of cosmetology school, if you're just starting or if you're just coming out, they don't give you any aftercare. It's like going to get a BBL. You got now you got this big old Ooh. booty and, and you can't, when you get out, you don't go do get, get your aftercare. You yes, have to get your, aftercare. yes, girl. Mm -hmm. Got to get that aftercare. You have to have the you aftercare. Do. You do. You really and do. And like Tiffany is a part of that. Chair. You give mm -hmm. them aftercare instructions. How do I tie this up? What do I yes. need to put on it through the week? It's aftercare. Uh, you yes. have everything you have, but they still yep. need aftercare. They still need aftercare. So remember that. Remember that when you're in school. Remember that when you graduate. Remember that when you're five years in. Remember, <laughs> <laughs> remember that when you're 10 years in. Because we have, we, the, the beauty industry is a constantly ever evolving field. And if we don't continue to grow with the field, y'all know what's going to happen. They're going to try to mm -hmm. remove us like they've already been trying to do. It is so serious. And this is what this is. So even if that happens, right, because sometimes in the general population, things happen that we may not particularly have wanted to happen. So you have to figure out a plan for you and what's yes. going to set you apart. So if they strip us of our licenses, this still sets you apart. It does. From the unlicensed people, because they don't know. They don't know. Nothing. <laughs> I think the problem with, I think my biggest issue with that, not to get off track, is the lack of knowledge of sanitation that comes along with all of our profession. That's so, so valuable. Like, Ooh, Ooh. But I'm glad you said that. <laughs> Cause mm. it's a lot of things that we don't think about sanitizing and cleaning between clients. And I'm going to give you two. Mm. One is directly related to this course because you put it in there. Mm -hmm. Anything that touches the client. AKA anything anything you got after. to clean your microscope oh my gosh girl i'm making me a reel today <laughs> because Number folks two. is just using this microscope yes. and not cleaning it off the tip of and the microscope comes off it can go oh it's so scary it, it is it's, it's real it, it is it is but we're not gonna leave y'all on that note we're gonna leave on a good note my last question let me give you the you. second one let me give okay you go ahead one. let's go let, give me that your your irons 
because the fact of the matter is, I mean, it's a whole list, but mm -hmm. the fact of the matter is I've been doing this for 30 years and I can count the times I have seen people clean mm -hmm. their irons outside of the mm -hmm. Marcells when we used to dip them in the relaxer um, and all of that. Uh, <laughs> but you're, 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 what the, what are called? What they call? With the cords, girl, you help me. Oh, flat irons. Flat irons. Mm -hmm. And all of that. And your you, curling irons, your flat irons. Do you see the, the gunk? If it's you not just product, y'all. Right. Because if you haven't taken the scalp course, you <laughs> have not properly cleansed their scalp or eased the symptoms. We have to say certain things. Uh huh. So they're still flaking. So guess what else is in the product that's in those on the side? Scout on the flakes. side of your flat iron and you give but that to other folks you gonna learn something new today girl <laughs> okay <laughs> tell them tell, wash sanitation is so important it's so important so yeah really flat irons. she said it's a long issue. list it is a long list but most folks only got two things on the list brushes and combs but i'm gonna tell you <laughs> The list is very, very it's bad. Long. It's, it's a long, long list. And may, be sure that you are literally looking into the whatever it is that you're doing, because niching is important. Make sure that mm -hmm. you're sanitizing appropriately for your services. When you're doing scalp care, listen, hands down, you need to be sanitizing. Like she said, your microscope and all of that stuff, your combs, your capes, your chair. These Some of these disorders that clients are experiencing are transferable. So you got to yes. be really, really careful with that. And you don't want all of a sudden all your clients got dandruff because of you. And then you want to charge them to get rid of it. Mm. My detox treatment is 35. I wouldn't need it if you cleaned your stuff. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yes. Okay, then. So uh, my last question is, what are you looking forward to in the scalp care journey? You got some new things coming up, I know, but, and, and I want to know how does this play into what you're getting ready to do? So I have, um, like Rashawn said, I'm, I'm in a new space. And when I saw it, I had a vision, right? Um, because I had already, you know, started with the scalp care course and since the first one, because again, I took it both times, uh -huh. Rayshawn has added something, right, that you have access to, you know, the situation with the beds, right? I don't have one. Okay. Um, and I'm just really trying to figure out how to incorporate it in the environment that I'm in, or does that mean another location? Right. Uh oh. So uh -oh. I have to really decide where and when uh -huh. um, I want to take it to that level. Um, so that's that's the the main thing. You can get the experience without the bit. You can get the results. I'll mm -hmm. say, but the total experience, you, you need it. It's the halo <laughs> sprayer. It, it, it's just, it's really the halo sprayer, to be honest. Like the people are really, they I love it. it. No. <laughs> <laughs> bed. You, you know what? We're going to speak that into existence. Mm -hmm. Tiffany's getting ready. She's about to have her bed, y'all. Hands down, period. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's all. Okay. It's coming yeah, to her. She. Yeah. We don't even know how we going to get it. We don't know how it's going to get there. We don't know how we're going to pay the uh, thousands of dollars it costs to have it. But I guess what? Can estheticians also take this? Yes. The scalp course? Yes. They need to know. Yes. And I, I've been taught, there's actually an esthetician who's teaching a head spa class too. So that's a little competition. But again, I mm -hmm. understand competition yeah. is healthy. You know, competition is healthy. To it me. is. I'm not here it to is. downplay any other scalp care certification course, nor Correct. am I here to downplay somebody who doesn't want to participate in my course. What I am here to do is uplift those who truly care about scalp care. Let y'all see the type of students that I educate, this type of people. We are friends, y'all. We didn't, we didn't, we don't just learn from each other we develop friendships because mm -hmm. this is a growing industry and i'm so yeah. grateful to even have the experience and i'm so grateful again mm -hmm. for tiffany's time and grateful for all of the students that i got that are going to come on here and have this conversation so with that being said i'm going to just give my closing words thank you so much tiffany thank you for having me yes. thank you all for tuning in and you uh -huh. know take the course
Uh, you know what, y'all? She said it. I'm going to say it too. Take it. Take that damn course, okay? <laughs> Scalp care is everything. And if you're offering the head spa already, that don't mean nothing. Do you understand what you're looking at under the microscope? Mm -hmm. Do you know how to do a scalp massage or are you just washing the hair? Remember, it is about your attention to detail that sets you apart. And in the event that anything happens with this industry, you want to remain relevant. Make sure that you are remaining relevant right now. Start today. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the scalp care certification course. Please subscribe, share this video. Y'all know the routine. I feel like I got to get that in there. With that being said, let's say give them a bye. Bye, y'all. Bye. <laughs>